Hey guys, we're here with another one-shot story, and this one will be focused on one of the most beloved ships by a fan, which is Goku X Cauliflower. So this already shows that it will be a story more focused on the romance between the two Saiyans of the 6th and 7th universes. But if you want the story to continue, I need you to leave a lot of likes and comment on the video because it shows us that you're enjoying it. And if you're liking it, it means, well, that we'll continue the story. But that's all up to you. So grab a bucket of popcorn in your soda and come with me. And of course, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and comment what you think of the story. Well, without further ado, let's start following this incredible story. In the sixth universe. Currently in the sixth universe, more precisely on the planet Sadala where the Saiyans lived, in that universe, it was possible to see that in an isolated corner of the planet, Caulifla and Kaba were training together. Both were in their Super Saiyan forms, and further back was Kale, who had already finished her training with Caulifla, and now she was resting a little. Caulifla had a lot of energy and that was making her two friends curious why Caulifla was so euphoric and excited these last few days, and at the same time that made Caulifla's friends curious they were worried. The big reason for Caulifla's concern was that the fact she had recently been facing other Saiyans on her planet. Caulifla was only facing men, and every time she won she got angry for some reason that not even Kale, who was her closest friend, seemed to know. The only thing the other Saiyans knew was that Caulifla was wanting to face a very strong Saiyan male, and strangely she wanted to use all her power and still be defeated by that Saiyan. And that left everyone surprised because Caulifla hated many things and losing a match was at the top of that list. Caulifla and Kaba were fighting with one big difference in level because Caulifla was much stronger than at the time of the Tournament of Power and Kaba ended up being more relaxed since he didn't face opponents stronger than him. Kaba ended up being distracted for a second in the middle of that fight and taking advantage of that. Caulifla hit a blast of energy on the Saiyan who ended up being thrown against a mountain crossing it in the process, and when the girl saw that Kaba was already very weak and could no longer continue combat, Caulifla returned to her original base form and was angered by Kaba's weakness. Caulifla spoke. You got to relax, Kaba. Even though the Tournament of Power has already passed you, you should keep evolving to be able to be stronger and honor the strength of the Saiyans. But you started to fight with those weaklings, and that made you a relaxed weakling too. If you don't get stronger, you'll never be capable of protecting planet Sadala let alone defeating me. I'm already going to my house because I want to rest a little," said the Saiyan leaving the place and leaving only Kaba lying on the ground, weak because of the last fight, and Kale who was not understanding anything of what was happening with her friend and master. Kaba said, Kale, you're sure you don't know why Caulifla is so different these last few days. It's been a week since she's been acting like this, picking fights with the strongest Saiyans on the planet. At first I thought it was just for her to show that she's the strongest, but now it seems that Caulifla wants to be defeated by one of us, and she's only facing the men. This woman will end up killing me at some point, because of her intense training to make me stronger. Caulifla always says the same thing, if you don't get stronger you'll never be able to protect the planet Sadala, and much less defeat me. I'm already tired of hearing this every day, said the boy, still lying on the ground, but now in his base form, while looking at Kale who was beside him. Kale said, Caulifla has been acting strange since the day she talked to her mother. If I remember correctly, her mother told her that it was time to find a Saiyan husband. But Caulifla refused, saying she would not stay with one Saiyan who was weaker than her. And since that day, Caulifla has been acting this way. So I would say that Caulifla is doing this to prove that she doesn't need to marry any Saiyan. And maybe Caulifla is pressuring you so that you get, get stronger than all the Saiyans, so that she can defeat you and show that she is the strongest and doesn't need anyone said the woman finding an explanation for the strange behavior of her friend, and that made Kaba even more worried, since he would have to get stronger and stronger by being defeated by Caulifla again. Kaba said, Well, it looks like I'm not going to be beaten for a long time until Caulifla gets tired of hitting me, or until I defeat her, something I doubt will happen, and even if I defeat her, I wouldn't want to stay with Caulifla, because I already like a Saiyan girl, she just doesn't know it yet, or didn't realize it said the Saiyan blushing a little and looking away avoiding eye contact with Kale, who was curious to know who that girl was. Kale said, Who's the lucky one who managed to win the heart of one of the strongest Saiyans on the planet Sadala, and also called a hero for some of his exploits, saving other planets? Tell me, Kaba, and I promise that no one will know, not even Caulifla, asked the curious woman as she looked at Kaba, who was embarrassed at that moment. Kaba said, Kale, 
I'm going to tell you who I like, but it won't be with words, but with a gesture. And I ask you not to hate me for what I'm going to do, okay? Asked the Saiyan, getting up and sitting down, facing Kale, who was confused by that. Kale said, Huh? Well, the way you said it sounds like something important, but I'm going to hate you no matter what, so tell me who you like, Kaba. The woman asked with an innocent smile on her face, as she looked at Kaba, who was embarrassed and a little afraid. Kaba even being embarrassed at that moment, he took the courage and kissed Kale, who was very surprised by that, and even thought about separating from Kaba, but she was enjoying it. Kale pulled Kaba's face closer, deepening and prolonging that kiss, but after a few minutes both ran out of air and separated. Kaba said, I like you Kale, I've been feeling it since the day we met, and after spending so much time together training, I was sure I like you. And that's why, even if I beat Kalifla, she wanted to stay with me, I wouldn't stay with her because I like you and only you," said the Saiyan, finally confessing his true feelings to Kale, who said nothing. She just pulled Kaba for another kiss. That surprised the Saiyan, but he soon returned the woman's kiss. Kaba and Kale were exchanging caresses for a long time. Now with Kalifla. Currently with Kalifla, it was possible to see that the Saiyan was at her home, eating something that her mother had made for her earlier. And after devouring everything she saw ahead, the girl was very frustrated for not being able to find a Saiyan that is good enough to stay with. Until her mind ended up remembering another Saiyan, one she met during the Tournament of Power. Kalifla spoke. That's it. If none of these good-for-nothing Saiyans are any good to me, then I'm going after the old man Son Goku. He's very strong. And he's not that ugly. I know Son Goku is married to a human. I think and I know that she's very weak. But I can make him stay with me, and that way Goku will be a real Saiyan by my side. And I'll have a strong Saiyan on my side. And if I have a son in the future, he will be the most powerful Saiyan in the sixth universe. Said the Saiyan with a smile on her face, and soon leaving that place. Now in the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta training together. And it was also possible to see two pillars of energy appearing in that place. And in one of these pillars, Beerus came out with Whis, and in the other was Vados, Champa, and Cauliflaw. Goku said, Cauliflaw, what did you come to Universe 7 to do? It's not new for Champa and Vados to come visit Universe 7, but this is the first time you've come too. Did something happen on the Saiyan planet of Universe 6? The Saiyan spoke, asking several questions at the same time, while looking at the Saiyan who just arrived at the place, along with the God of Destruction and the Angel of the Sixth Universe. Cauliflaw said, it's nothing like what you just said, Son Goku. I came to the seventh universe to train with you. I'm wanting to get stronger, but there's no Saiyan who can help me. So I came here for you to help me get more powerful and learn how to transform into Super Saiyan 3, said the Saiyan, not revealing her true intentions to come to the seventh universe. Champa said, Cauliflower will be here for 72 hours, so try to teach her during that time. Now I'm going because I want to know if the food here is better than the planet Earth of my universe," said the God of Destruction, leaving the place with Beerus, Vados, and Whis. Goku said, Since it's like that, then let's train in a quieter and more isolated place, said the Saiyan, leaving the place with Cauliflaw, and soon the Saiyan arrived in a quieter place to train. Cauliflaw, wanting to take the Saiyan by surprise, advanced against him, but Goku was faster and dodged, and then Cauliflaw pretended to stumble and ended up falling on top of Goku who soon ended up realizing that Cauliflaw had fallen and kissed him in the process. Cauliflaw thought, Yes! thought the Saiyan, very excited as she managed to stumble so she could kiss the Saiyan. In the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely in a field far from civilization, on planet Earth, it was possible to see Son Goku and Cauliflaw together. The oldest Saiyan was lying on the ground and Cauliflaw was on top of him, kissing him, and Son Goku, for being very innocent, did not notice what was happening immediately. But as soon as Son Goku realized what was happening, he got up and walked away from Cauliflaw, who was surprised since it seemed to her that the Saiyan was enjoying that. Cauliflaw looked at the Saiyan, who at that moment was touching her lips with a confused expression. Goku said, Why did you do that, Cauliflaw? Isn't what you did something only couples do? You and I are not a couple, so why did you do that?" Asked the Saiyan confused with why Cauliflaw had done that, and that left the woman very surprised and confused by the fact that a Saiyan like Son Goku, who was already married and had children, didn't know what a mere kiss was. Cauliflaw thought, Wait, you don't know what a kiss is? He's older than me, he's married, and he already has two children, and he's even a grandfather, and still Son Goku doesn't know what a kiss is. 
I thought he was innocent because of what Vados told me about him while we were coming to Universe 7. But I think with that level of innocence, it ends up being pretty hard to believe that Goku is married and already has kids. Well, that might be good for me. If I can convince Goku that it would be right for him to be with a Saiyan and not with a human, I can be able to make him mine. Thought the woman looking at the older Saiyan in front of her, who was still confused about everything that was happening. Cauliflaw said, Sorry, old man, I ended up doing that because I accidentally fell on top of you, but that wasn't on purpose, said the woman giving some excuse. Goku said, Well, if that wasn't on purpose, then it's okay. Now, let's train because you're only going to stay here for the seventh universe for three days, and that's the time I have to teach you how to transform into Super Saiyan 3, said the Saiyan with a more lively tone. After all, if the subject was training, Son Goku would get excited at the time. Cauliflaw said, Let's go. I hope you're ready because I'm going to be able to master this Super Saiyan 3 power in just three days, said the excited Saiyan while looking at the older Saiyan, who just smiled at that. Thus began the hard training of Goku and Cauliflaw, so that she would learn to transform into a Super Saiyan 3. Over the course of training Cauliflaw, whenever she could manage to stumble and fall on top of Goku to kiss him or squeeze her breasts against the Saiyan, and she always claimed that it was a small accident, Goku for being very innocent ended up believing in the words of the girl who did that more and more, and as they only had 72 hours to train, the two stayed at the training place during the time that Cauliflaw would be in the 7th universe. And when Goku and Cauliflaw needed to sleep, they slept in a cave for close, and Cauliflaw always managed to sleep next to Goku saying she was cold or something similar. And Goku always believed her, since Cauliflaw didn't have any kind of bad intentions against him, or he thought. Two days later, Two days had passed since the beginning of Cauliflaw's training and Son Goku was being a good master to the Saiyan, who sometimes challenged Son Goku to a fight. And in all, Son Goku managed to defeat Cauliflaw, and most of the time, Goku didn't even need to use Super Saiyan 2. But in some of those fights, Son Goku ended up transforming into Super Saiyan 2, to show the difference between the strength he had and the strength that Cauliflaw had at that moment. Currently, with the two Saiyans, it was possible to see that they were both sweaty, Cauliflaw was sweatier than Goku, since they had just finished a friendly match, where Son Goku once again came out as the winner. Goku said, You're becoming stronger and stronger, Cauliflaw. This time I really needed to use Super Saiyan 2 to defeat you, and you seem to be almost ready to be able to transform into Super Saiyan 3, said the Saiyan while looking at Cauliflaw, who was a little out of breath because of the fight that had ended a few minutes ago. Cauliflaw said, I have a little more than 24 hours in the 7th universe, and I will have to be able to transform into a Super Saiyan 3 during the time, and of course I know that I will achieve this power. After all, I'm a very powerful Saiyan, different from those humans you live with and call family," said the Saiyan while looking at Son Goku, who was curious because Cauliflaw had already said several times that humans were weak compared to Saiyans. Goku said, Cauliflaw, why do you keep talking about humans that way? And why do you like to ask me so many questions related to my personal life and my marriage to my wife Chi Chi? Why do you do that, Cauliflaw? Asked the Saiyan, really curious about why Cauliflaw talked so much about his personal life and his wife Chi Chi that was starting to bother the Saiyan. Cauliflaw said, Why do I keep talking about humans and your wife that way? Because they're very weak and fragile. They're not like the two of us. They're not Saiyans. These humans think that this paper and coin made of metal they call money is the most important thing in the world. They're different from us, Saiyans who are always getting more powerful, and in my opinion strength is the most important thing. After all, the strong dominate, not the weak," said the Saiyan looking at Son Goku who was understanding now why Cauliflower was acting and spoke that way. Goku said, I can't say you're wrong because many humans are like that, but the ones I know aren't like that. They care about each other and some of them are very strong like Master Roshi and Krillin. They are human and they are very strong because they managed to defeat other beings during the Tournament of Power," said the Saiyan while looking at Cauliflaw who sighed a little and then had an idea. Cauliflaw said, You and your wife, this Chi Chi, she's a weak human and doesn't even accept you as you really are. You are a Saiyan and we Saiyans always want to train and face stronger opponents. But Chi Chi hates that you train, and she still beats you up just because she doesn't like the way you are. The truth is that you should break up with her as soon as possible, because that Chi Chi doesn't deserve you. You should stay with a Saiyan like me, because only a Saiyan could understand the way you think and act. 
said the woman looking at son Goku, who couldn't deny that his wife acted the way Cauliflower had said. Goku said, I know Chi-Chi is like that, but I still like her even with her way. I love Chi-Chi, even though she beats me up for stupid reasons. In addition to being married to Chi-Chi, I also have two children with her. I would never be able to abandon her. After all, we've been together for many years, said the Saiyan, confessing that even though his wife was like that, Goku still liked her. Cauliflower said, You say that, but you've never been with another woman besides her. And especially, you've never been with a Saiyan like me, said the Saiyan, going to Son Goku. Cauliflower, when approaching Son Goku, pulled him for a kiss. And after they separated, Cauliflower was surprised because Son Goku pulled her by the waist and kissed her, something that made the Saiyan widen her eyes. And after a few seconds, Cauliflower began to return the kiss, which lasted several seconds before the two broke apart. Goku said, This will be our secret, and you shouldn't tell anyone, Cauliflower, said the Saiyan while gently holding Cauliflower's face. Cauliflower said, Why keep this kiss if we can do something much better and keep it for ourselves, said the woman looking at Goku and soon the two kissed again, only now with more intensity. The next day at Capsule Corporation. Currently, it was possible to see Vados and Champa in front of the Capsule Corporation with everyone, including Goku's family, and soon Cauliflower went close to Vados. Cauliflower said, Thanks for the training, old man. I promise that the next time I meet you, I'll have mastered the full power of Super Saiyan 3. By then, I will train tirelessly to surpass you, said the Saiyan while she looked at Goku, who just gave a short laugh. Goku said, That's what I hope. After all, I want to fight against you again, and if you need, you can come back to have a new training, said the Saiyan, looking at Cauliflower, who understood what he really meant. Cauliflower said, Absolutely, said the woman before having her body surrounded by a pillar of energy that soon rose to the heavens toward the sixth universe. With that, we will end today's video. I do hope you liked it, and if you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on another day, guys.